So we have more collector's edition stuff today. Um, today is the Dark Knight to this Blu-ray limited edition. Right here. Uh, this is the Abat Pod version. You couldn't get that in England, which really annoyed me. Uh, I think this was shipped from Germany. Can't remember? No, it can't be Germany. Germany had another edition. I think this is directly from America, which is why it's Region Three. So good on you, one of us, for giving us Region Three disc, but only from America. So not so good on you, but at least the option is there. So it's a bloody big box. Uh, on the front, you, get, you know, plastic opening. You see inside. On one side you got the Joker's face, on the back is information on what's going on and on this side you got Batman and on the bottom it's just a box so you open it up uh, I still have my original receipt from here and oh no, I didn't, I didn't buy it from Amazon, I bought it from yesasia.com and yeah, the USA version uh, I first got this when it was first available and funny on my receipt doesn't actually give me the uh, how much I paid for it I, I can't remember so uh, apart from the thing in the back you also get this uh, really terrible way to house a CD so what does this house? well you got the uh, digital copy so Batman Warner not. Uh, you got the code for the digital copy which is um, it expires in 2009, December 9, so you bought something that expires. That's what, how these digital copies used to work. So you got a video file here that you can no longer access because, you know, you paid for it, but it's expired. Blu-ray copy warning thing, and uh, how to use Blu-ray live, and, well, adverts, because you've already paid for that thing, and they're still going to chuck adverts in your face. Uh, when I put us to change the uh, digital copy thing, how they how you access digital copy movies now, you sort of have like a, a Netflix or Steam account where you get digital copy thing. But uh, back then it was so stupid um, that your know, digital copy would expire. Why why would you expire? It's you paid for it. Anyway, so this thing is housed quite protectively, I guess. Come on. Oh. Uh, yeah. Bonus digital copy. Hang on, screw you. Oh, what's... Oh, get out the thing. Um, notice that even on this plastic cover, the bat logo is sort of molded into the bottom where the bat logo is there, so that's kind of fun. So, uh, I don't have the Blu-ray disc with me because uh, they're with the boxes that are being shipped from England back to Hong Kong. As you know, I took the film with me, but not this, all this stuff, because, you know, it's space and room and stuff, so that can detach off the back. Uh, the bottom is just some copyright stuff, and it's not so important. Um, I have tried it. You can actually uh, unscrew the back pod from the stand if you really work at it, so I'm going to zoom in there. So as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of detail going on. This is um, like a really accurate scaled model. Uh, it uses hard plastic and soft plastic, so things that they think might snap easily, they use soft plastic so you don't know, break it. Uh, even the front sort of guns are kind of soft. Uh, the tires are made of another material. They're not rubber as such, but they almost feel like they are rubber. It's like, you can see it's a lot softer than the rest of the plastic. Overall, it's quite stable. Uh, I mean, you could, the bad part is a very like it's designed in a way where it looks like it's gonna fall apart so easily. Which is uh, maybe why they never made it in Lego, like officially. Not this design anyway. But uh, the painting is all fine. All the details are there, indeed. And uh, for a collectible uh, set, it's better, way better than the uh, DVD case that looks like a Batman. That looks like Batman's mask that you just open and whatever. Uh, oh, and the ones that Bobo had he got in the UK, which is just stupid. So that's that. Just a quick look. Uh, yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care. Have a nice day. Bye. So, what is in the mystery box? What could be in the mystery box?
Well, toys of course, but uh, even I can't remember. Stay tuned at Digger V1A Geeko channel to find out soon.